I want to talk about the upcoming draft because Bronny James' name keeps propping up. That would happen to be the son of LeBron James, who's been medically cleared by the NBA's fitness to play panel. James is now expected to remain in the 2024 NBA draft, but he still maintains his college eligibility. The man averaged four points a game in his freshman year. We know health debilitated him. We know. Uh, here's what we really, really, really need to understand. This story at this moment in time has transitioned to a story that's not even about Bronny James anymore. It's about LeBron James. And let me tell y'all what's going on. I ain't asking. I ain't guessing. I'm telling you what I've been told. Take of it what you will. LeBron James is obviously eligible to sign an extension. Uh, he can choose to go elsewhere. He can choose to stay with the Los Angeles Lakers. And the reports are that he's looking for a three-year contract extension. Fair enough. The Lakers have a second round pick. I think it's 55. You can't justify taking Bronny James with the 17th overall pick in the first round. There's no way in hell they could pull that off. Lakers pull that off, they'll get crucified. And any vitriol that's received, LeBron James has brought that on because he's been so public about wanting to play with his son, which caused this whole brouhaha. Not realizing, because I know he didn't do it intentionally, but really not realizing the shrapnel of criticism that would bring down upon his son if he ends up getting drafted when so many people don't believe he deserves to be drafted. But here's a news flash: what I've also heard. Bronny James might not make it to the Lakers second round pick. Because if a team like the Dallas Mavericks could position themselves to get him in the second round, they'll take him. Because LeBron said he wants to go where his son goes. And if you're the Dallas Mavericks and you got Kyrie and you got Luka and LeBron James is willing to come to Big D, Dallas, Texas, that might be the first time something's more popular than the Cowboys. Now, I know that sounds like hyper hyperbole and it probably is, but I'm saying, damn, it's pretty damn close. Even when the Dallas Mavericks won the title in 2011, nobody was thinking about them like that. Dirk Nowitzki, Jason Terry, Jason Kidd, and you know, stuff like that. But if LeBron James was to join Kyrie and Luka, because LeBron James has been on the record saying that he wants to play with his son and obviously him being a billionaire, money's not an issue. Especially on him and his team talking to folks in Saudi Arabia to ultimately partner up with him so he can ultimately own an NBA team down the line. Money ain't an issue for LeBron James. Playing with his son is something he said was. And because that's known and that's understood, who knows what that could end up being. So you got the Lakers and the Dallas Mavs in the mix when it comes to Bronny James. The irony of all of this is so many people have questioned Bronny James and his capabilities at this juncture in his career. We ain't talking about the other son, Bryce, who's younger, who no one ever mentions. But I'm hearing this kid is the one that's got big time skills with tremendous promise. I'm just letting y'all know what I'm hearing. Dallas Mavericks. Position yourself, get the second round pick that gets you, Bronny James, so LeBron James can come to Dallas. That's what they saying. That's what they saying.